In this lesson, I'll show you 12 examples on how to determine the number of significant figures in a number. The question reads, how many significant figures are in each number? Starting with A, the significant figures here are 4. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. These leading zeros are insignificant. Anything after the leading zeros in a decimal number are significant. Otherwise, they wouldn't be written. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 significant figures. In question B, we have five significant figures. One, two, three, four, five. Notice that these three zeros are sandwiched in between the five and the three. That means they're significant as well. So here we'll write down five, five significant figures. In question C, we have 10 decimeters is equal to one meter. 10 decimeters and one meter are exact numbers as opposed to numbers that are measured. And because they're exact numbers, they have an unlimited amount of significant figures. So whenever you have a defined quantity, it suggests that it's an unlimited number of significant digits. So we'll write down unlimited. In question D, we have 1.000 times 10 to the power of 5. This number is in scientific notation, and all four of these numbers are significant. We'll write down four significant figures. Keep in mind that the trailing zeros are after a decimal point and are significant. Otherwise, they wouldn't be written. Why would you want to write three extra zeros if they're not important? In question E, we have 0 0.00002. Here we only have one significant figure. Remember, these leading zeros are not important. Had we had zeros over here, then they would be significant. Let's move on to F. In F, we have the number 10,000 meters. This has only one significant figure. These zeros are insignificant. However, had we put a decimal right after that last zero, then all five of them would be significant. And if you don't want to write it this way, you can write it in scientific notation. Much like in part D, where we had 1.000 times 10 to the power of 5. So we could have written this as 1.0000 times 10 to the power of 5, and that would be considered five significant figures. So F, as it's written, has one significant figure. For question G, we have three significant figures. There's no question about that. In question H, we have seven pennies. Seven pennies is an exact number, so it qualifies as having an infinite number of significant figures. Therefore, it follows the same rules as in question C, where if you have an exact number, then it's unlimited. Here's another way to think of it. Four tires on a car, for example, isn't something you can measure. It's an exact value that will not change. Same with this. Seven pennies you can't measure. And on top of that can be converted into an infinite number of ways. In question I, we have 1.01 .01 times 10 to the power of 5. Here we have three significant figures. All three are significant. In question J, we have 0 decimal 0, 0, 0, and then the two nines. These leading zeros are not important these two numbers are. In question K, 1.4500. All five of these numbers are significant. These zeros are significant because if they were not significant, they wouldn't be written. So those zeros are part of the measurement. And lastly, we have 21,000. These are insignificant. We have two significant figures here. So there you have it. 12 examples on how to determine the number of significant figures in a number. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or visit our website for more help.